see Bokova hits the ball on the line. Lines person called it long, but Shea still hit the ball back into the court. Shaking her head, she needs to answer the question though. She says it's her point. As Hawkeye saw, so the point has to be replayed. <laughs> But I was not upset with her. I was upset I with the champ. Upset with her, but she, she, you can understand why she didn't. No, want to this happened to me so many times that I had exact the same point, and the point was given to the other player. So I had no, I had no sympathy because it's just about the champ. you know. Well, she made that. Sybil Koga wants it checked. And she wants the umpire. She thinks this is wide. I'm not sure she's convinced. Yeah, it's going to be called in. If that's the mark, it does look wide. Oh, Ooh, was it? No, it was on the line. Well, just when you thought you couldn't get much more drama. An immediate overall. It looked in, I've got to admit. I, th I think Sybil Kova is arguing that it should be a replay of the point, which it should be, in my opinion. Sybil Kova was there. Good holes. Cornet has the three love leads opening set. Зачем ты ближе к мячу подходи, ближе к мячу подходи, Юль, далеко встречаешь мяч, Есть много розыгрышей, просто ждешь к нему, когда он к тебе прилетит. Укороченный в том числе, делаешь укороченный, тянешься к мячу, подходи ближе, будь к мячу, ближе. Отрабатывай эти отрезки, тебе больше ничего не надо? Тебе не надо, тебе я тебе еще раз спрашиваю, подсказки Никите не нужны? Я тебе пришел подсказать, что ты... Ты меня зачем вызвала сюда? Ну, ты зачем тут сидишь вообще? Я тебе объяснил, пришел тебе а, подсказать. Свою хмылку дебильно убери, блин. Понятно. Kune breaks. Leads four games to love. Second set. Well, the emotion is certainly at the surface for Putinseva. Just lets out a wry smile.
incredibly frustrating as a tennis player. When you've got the tools, you've got the capacity in your game, but it's just not being presented. Can't find a way to articulate that on the court and put into that. Just looks right now like she doesn't want to be out on court. Pliska was not supposed to be on this side of the net to begin with, and there's no mark to be pointed out by the line judge or the chair umpire. But she should probably have alerted the umpire. Carolina, yeah, I saw it out. The, the line umpire called out. How can she? She cannot even show you the mark. It's like this. It is. Yeah, I know. I understand. I understand your point. I know. Well, now she's going to appeal to Sakari, and she's asking the line judge again one two, and I'm not sure. Well, this is going to be drawn out of it because Pushkova wants the supervisor to come out. Now, this is going to be tough because the line judge doesn't know where the mark is and has no ability to point it out. Sakari herself not offering anything, and nor, nor is it incumbent on her to, to actually supply that. But Pushkova's. Yeah, it's not. It's out of her control. It's a tough situation because I'm surprised that she can show a mark if if it wasn't out, then it's in. Then. Well, Sakari's saying we can replay the point, but Pliskova is adamant that not only was it in, but it was inside of the line. And that she should have the point because it was a clean put away. Sakari had no play on the ball. Yeah. No, I understand. So it should be. It should be point, point to Pliskova yeah. if indeed it was in the court. Now the exactly. I understand your point. Well, we'll wait for the supervisor to come out because Pushkova has pleaded her case. She's not going to be over, able to overturn the call Thank with the chair umpire. Now, worst case scenario, of course, Pushkova can't do anything, and this puts her up against break point. Best case yeah. scenario for her is that somehow it just becomes resolved that they'll replay it. And I'm not sure if that's a possibility or not. I'm not sure if the umpire is uh, taking the right decision. <laughs> Because if she knows it's in and she said there's out but there's no Carolina. marks, then... I believe it's Carolyn Kramer, the WTA supervisor, who's coming in. Here's a look at it in slow motion from the opposite angle, Sakari's end, and where the line judge was standing. Yeah, that's it. Ah. It was out. Yes. I lost the mark. The lion player didn't have the mark. Yeah. And to me, it's a point uh, for Maria. Okay. So, okay. I have to say something. Yeah, the ball is like this. Okay. You see the mark. But you it's not. There is not even any mark in out. It's like this. Yeah. 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 Well, this could all be solved with one thing. Okay. Okay. It's a mistake from the Empire. Well, there's no doubt about it. It was in, 
And Pliskova has a case, but one that she can't argue and will be facing significant adversity here. Now, with that being said, you may have woken up the bear because she's been playing at a very low level with not a tremendous amount of energy today, and this might have just engaged her fully into this match. We'll see how she fares now facing her 14th break point. And it's going to take a while to settle the crowd because everybody else other than the two officials saw it as in. Pliskova will have to distance some serious disappointment because she's up against some significant adversity. Maria Sakari serving for the biggest win in her career. going to be a long and continually frustrating day for Pliskova. No handshake for the chair as she takes her frustrations out. And it's going to get worse from here on out because she's going to see the replay and know that she indeed was right and was wrong. But to her own undoing today, she was the architect of much of her problems today. And in the end, Maria Sakari was the better player when it mattered. Under pressure, she was able to stand up to post the biggest victory of her career and do so coming back from a set down.